Welcome to The Art Vlog with me, George Dopamine. Today we're in the beautiful East Anglian University city of Cambridge to visit a show at Kettle's Yard, one of the stalwarts of the modern British art scene in a gallery I haven't been to for a very long time. The artist who's showing here is um, Shatupa Biswas, um, and she's having quite a year of it actually. She's um, got, had a, a solo show at the Baltic and um, is now having an even bigger show at Kettle's Yard. Um, I think it's long overdue and I'm really looking forward to seeing some of her work in one place. So down a little alley off a main road, just across the river from the famous backs and the colleges, is Kettle's Yard, a wonderful space for a gallery, a really sort of intimate and enclosed space, which I'm really looking forward to going to. The first book that you see when you enter the main gallery space is the very, very powerful Housewives with Steak Knives, which depicts um, Biswas as the Hindu goddess Kali, um, multi-limbed. And the way that the piece is hung means that it comes away from the wall, so it's literally um, looming over you. Um, it's a really powerful work produced when she was a student in the 1980s, and it still packs a punch today. The main show, which is shown over two spaces, cast Biswas as the great experimenter, using a huge range of materials to produce her work, from textiles to photography and video work to paintings. Um, Biswas is alive um, with both the personal and the political in her work. There's such a strength, and all of it is challenging the Eurocentric um, focus of Western art in the 80s, 90s and into the noughties and beyond. The really exciting um, work that I was most looking forward to, however, was her latest video piece, Lumen. And that, for me, was the highlight of the show. I was entranced by it and watched it twice. It was so powerful. Well, I have to say, it was absolutely glorious to be in Cambridge today at Kettle's Yard as the autumnal sunshine threw shapes through the window across the British art in the main house. I did actually do a house tour today, which I thoroughly recommend. It's free, but you do have to book in advance. And I'll cover that in a separate vlog. But today is all about um, this show in the in the modern sort of galleries um, by Shutupa Biswas. Um, and it was a really interesting overview of her career so far. Um, it, what really struck me was the, I suppose, two things. Firstly, the diversity of material. She's clearly a very experimental artist who's constantly pushing boundaries in the ways in which she expresses herself. And secondly, in the really sharp mixture of, of personal and political um, aspects to her art, some very intimate pieces surrounding her son and some more um, really aggressively political pieces as well. And it must be remembered that Biswas was part of the black art movement, which grew up in the 1980s, attempting to challenge the Eurocentric focus of British and to a certain extent world art as well. And it's really interesting because I think for me, um, the, the fruits of the black art movement have been seen in the last few years with great shows like Frank Bowling's exhibition at Tate Britain and Faith Ringgold's at the Serpentine Gallery. And obviously it's one that's continuing with the upcoming Caribbean art exhibition at Tate Britain as well. It's almost as if art is extending its wings and allowing many, many more voices and beautiful work into its space. And Biswas's art, art certainly um, certainly achieves that. This was a long overdue show, this one and the one at the Baltic as well. The absolute highlight for me was the film piece Lumen, which is her most recent work, filmed just before and in lockdown. It was a stunning piece and it sent a shiver down my spine because I got the feeling that this was an artist working at their peak. And in a way, it was a culmination of the work that had gone before, which you see in the show. So it was great to see that other work as, 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 as sort of building up, in my view, personally, my interpretation to this fantastic piece. It made me feel at certain points, especially as a white British man, quite uncomfortable. And I think that's what it was meant to do um, because it was putting forward um, 
a very different view of history to the official British view of the empire. And for me, you know, public discourse in Britain just does not challenge this, what is in reality a difficult part of our history. And this film absolutely did that. It's a really interesting mixture of delivery as well. Some of it is, is delivered by an actress from a script produced by Biswas. And here she is attempting to get into her mother's head and almost express her mother's experience as she came from India to Britain as a reluctant immigrant following her husband, Biswas's father. And so there's a deeply personal aspect as there is to some of the best bits of Biswas's other work to this, but also a hugely important political point, a political aspect as well. Um, Biswas is obviously illustrating through her mother's story some of the horrors of, of empire, whether they're the huge horrors like petition, where bureaucrats in offices drawing lines on maps led to the deaths of over a million people, or the, the more daily horrors, which happened again and again and again through the Raj, um, which show um, the superiority in the eyes of the British, as seen through poems like Roger Kipling's White Man's Burden, and their perceived inferiority of their Indian quote unquote subjects. Um, this forces us to address those questions. As well as the actress um, delivering the script by Biz Was, which was filmed as far as I'm aware in Bristol, um, this is interspersed and intercut with scenes from India, both contemporary scenes from India and also um, rather chillingly and beautifully um, integrated black and white flickering images from the Raj period itself. And it's these images and the way that they're intercut with her mother's story, which give for me the, the, the work its full political power as well. Um, it, is it just me or is, is, is our febrile and, um, and troubled country um, partly not able to reach maturity and peace with itself because of our inability to deal with the dark side of our history? You know, there's no doubt that the empire created the wealth, which means that this small island in Britain is um, on the edge of, sorry, small island on the edge of Europe is, um, is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. And we just don't really talk about it. And Biswas's film Lumen, her piece Lumen, forces us to confront this legacy. And that's part of its power um as well and i really hope that many more people will watch it as i say um than the thousands that will have seen it at baltic in gateshead and at kettle's yard in cambridge it is whisper it um possibly going to be a masterpiece or hopefully one of her masterpieces i've got to reflect on that a bit i mean i saw it twice in the gallery i saw it once and then went away and had, a, had another look at the rest of her art then came back and watched it again and the second time didn't didn't sort of diminish it for me at all. If anything, it made it more powerful. Um, so I thoroughly recommend um, the show uh, by Shatabha Biswas at Kettle's Yard in Cambridge. It's free. You're advised to book in advance, but there were people turning up for the show um, at the exhibition uh, on the door and they seem to be getting in. You can't do that with the house tour, by the way. It's running till the 30th of January. And um, I'll certainly be hoping to get back there to see the film again because I was really struck by it and it really it was really powerful to me. So um, do go there. Do remember to subscribe to the art vlog because there'll be more reviews coming up soon. We'll be looking at some project artworks in, a, in the next couple of weeks down in Hastings and Bex Hill. They're obviously a collective nominated for the Turner Prize and also be heading back into London to see some shows by some some uh, old masters as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. So do subscribe to the art vlog for more upcoming reviews and, on shows and, and news. Thank you very much um, and get out there and go and see some art.